Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 6, and I guess just Crisis on Infinite Earths in general, because, well, this relates directly to Crisis. So, yeah, we had the Crisis setup that we were pretty much waiting for on The Flash this past week, which went in ha like went hand in hand uh, with the actual Crisis activities and just the general Crisis event, I guess, going down on Arrow straight after that as well. But in the past episode, we saw Barry deal with the fallout of learning about his impending death or disappearance, whatever you want to call it, uh, getting this information from the Monitor and learning this is all happening about five years earlier than expected. So we saw Barry basically attempt to try, uh, time travel to the day following his predicted uh, date of disappearance, but is blocked from doing so due to a wall of antimatter. Now this leads Barry to going over to Earth 3 to see our good old mate Jay Garrick, who is seen as a bit of an expert in this field, which all leads to Barry sending his mind beyond the antimatter wall to the events around that date of December 10th, 2019. This of course, thanks to the work of his mother's doppelganger from Earth 3, that being Joan Williams. But of course we saw our first proper look at uh, Crisis as we saw the citizens of Earth-1 feel the wrath of the force of the Anti-Monitor with that wave of Anti-Matter coming down upon them and simply, well, just wiping them from existence. With us seeing Killer Frost, uh, Cisco as Vibe, uh, Iris West and Elongated Man just getting poofed away. And following this, of course, we saw a mild recreation of Barry's death from the comics are from the Crisis on Infinite Earth story. And me saying mild isn't like insulting or degrading it, like the scene was good, but for those that, you know, might be triggered by it, I say it's mild as we will most likely be getting a full-on recreation, a spicy recreation of the scene uh, from the comic in the proper event on TV when it does air in December. One of the main things and cool things, I guess, that I think some people would have missed in the episode uh, would have been when Jay Garrick pulled out and looked at a map of the multiverse. And since this happened, I've had a decent amount of people who did notice it ask me, like, yo, did you notice it? Do you want to go over it and stuff like that? So that is exactly what we're going to be going over in this video. And yes, I did notice it. I tweeted about it when we we're watching the episode. Uh, but of course, if you want to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support. Greatly appreciated if you could do that. And let me know all of your various opinions down there in the comments. What are your, um, I guess, your thoughts about the different things? Do you have different opinions in regards to the Earths that show up and what they could mean? Let me know all of your various opinions down there in the comments. Now, I'm going to go through them in numerical order. So, you know, one to the whatever it is, like 1073, whatever it might be. But I'm not actually going to be mentioning every single Earth. You'll better see them show up on screen, but I'm not going to dive into each Earth because some just aren't really worth mentioning because there's just nothing interesting going on there. Um, so, yeah, there's just nothing to note there. But let's just start off. So, Earth 1. This is like a counting lessons for those that can't count. So, Earth 1. Pretty obvious. That's the Earth that Barry, Arrow, all of them are on. You know, there's nothing really to go over there. Earth 2. Um, this is the funny thing is that this episode actually aired before Arrow and I guess spoilers for Arrow, but Earth 2 got destroyed. That's the, that was the first Earth to be destroyed by the Anti-Monitor. I know technically another Earth was technically destroyed, but it wasn't done by the Anti-Monitor. So crazy. Like we obviously don't know the, 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 the status of like characters like Harrison Wells from there or Jesse Quick, um, or any of the characters like that. But, um, that Earth is no more. It's, it's, it's gone. So Yeah. Earth-3, obviously Jay Garrick's Earth. Uh, Earth-5 is actually the home of the Shazam family in the comics. Um, they use this like as the, the force at Earth. I think even Earth-4, which I'm not gonna, I didn't mention, but I'm mentioning now anyway, I guess is like the Charlton comics universe. Um, but yeah, so Earth-5 is like the force at universe, which is like home of the Shazam family, which I highly doubt we'll see in here, but they might do something interesting with Earth-5 if they want to. Uh, Earth-6 could be a factor in Crisis because this is actually the home of Lady Quark. Um, and she actually is from the Crisis story in the comics. Now, she plays a decent role. Um, she could be in the TV event. It's hard to tell. There hasn't been a casting announcement, but maybe it's a current cast member that maybe plays like a doppelganger on that Earth. And they, they, they're able to keep a secret because all of the stuff was filmed indoors. I don't know. But um, you can see that Earth-6 in this, you know, the map is smothered in, in antimatter. Um, so it's time should be coming to an end soon, you think. I think on this map, it's got the most antimatter around it. So, uh, I don't know, maybe we might see a couple of episodes before Crisis, or it might be one of the first episodes in Crisis to um, be taken down um, by the antimatter, but we'll have to wait and see. But there's a lot of antimatter around it, so it's definitely running on, um, you know, it's, it's running out of time. Earth-7 is also surrounded by antimatter, as you can see here. Now, uh, Earth-7 is home of Dark Angel in the comics, um, who has had a you know, various stories and I guess versions and roles and stuff, but she once served for the monitor in a later story, not 
specifically Crisis, but a later story with the Monitor. I doubt this character will be in Crisis, just because there's already a lot going on. They don't have a ridiculous amount of time to tell the story. Um, but yeah, Earth 7's there. Now, Earth 8, there's a bit of antimatter near them. You know, there's a bit of a risk there. It's not smothered like, I guess, Earth 6 or even as much as Earth 7, but there's a bit of antimatter there. So they should, they should be a bit worried. But in the comics, this was essentially like just a hypothetical Earth with like duplicate heroes. So nothing too much of note there, but I just thought I'd mention them because they have antimatter near them. So yeah. Now, Earth 9 is an interesting one. Um, firstly, it's the home of the Tangent Universe in the comics. Um, essentially, it was, it was like very different versions like the atom looks like superman and superman looks like a wizard like yeah it looks like shazam-esque like the wizard shazam it's, it's a bit strange um so but none of them are at risk at the moment from the uh, from anti-matter but this will actually be the home of the titans in the arrowverse for crisis some of you know, might know titans are having a cameo in crisis and they actually set on earth nine i will have a video tomorrow with more information on this so yeah just expect that video tomorrow but that's your little first tease at some of the information that we have about the crisis uh, about the titan stuff in crisis so earth nine will be the home um but i think they're gonna uh well i won't spoil it let's be completely i'll just i'll let you uh sit on the edge of your seat until i re release that video tomorrow i guess now earth 10 was the in the comics was like the nazi controlled earth before like the change up which then became earth x I'm not too sure what it is in the Arrowverse at the moment. It's just going to be Earth-10 and we won't really come back to it, but I have no idea. I don't think there's, any, I don't think there's been any other mention of Earth-10 in the Arrowverse. Yeah, so, but we're moving to Earth-X. Now, we all know about Earth-X thanks to the crossover a few years back. Nazi-controlled Earth. Uh, well, Nazis won World War II, might I say. Uh, it's a bit different now because of thanks to the uh, the old heroes of the Arrowverse. Now, they've got some anti-matter near it, so it is at risk. Um, I know, it is home of the Freedom Fighters, and it will be interesting to see if we visit here for a bit during crisis or even beforehand i'd like to because we've been there before you know we've been there before we spent a decent amount of time there so i wouldn't mind seeing it again whether it is getting it destroyed or even maybe one or two of the heroes coming from, from over there maybe we might get some new freedom fighters showing up that were pretty cool because we only met a handful we only met the ray was he the only freedom fighter we met i think it was i guess if you include the the guardian over there but anyway we didn't meet that many so it might be cool to see them again now, Earth-11 um, was actually an Earth with gender-flipped heroes, so male heroes were female, and the female heroes were male, so example, Superwoman, Batwoman, Wonder Man. I doubt we'll see this, but there's a little cool fun fact if you didn't know. Now, Earth-12 isn't really blatantly seen here, because actually, it's the Earth that's covered by the Red Arrow uh, that's pointing at Earth-2. Now, this is actually the home of Harrison Wolfgang Wells, who we've met before, and this is also heavily surrounded by antimatter, so this might be another Earth that goes down pretty quickly. It's going to be interesting to see if like the Earths, which of note that only we know about because of the various versions of Wells we met, we'll see them react to the crisis or their Earth getting destroyed by antimatter. That'd be pretty funny, just a montage of different Wells reacting. I don't know, that'd be, that's a possibility, I guess. Earth 13, once again, another Wells. This is actually the home of Wells the Grey, like the Gundalf looking dude, like the magical, mystical type of Earth with various creatures. Um, yeah, let's move on. Now, Earth-15 has been referenced a couple of times. This is actually the dead Earth. Now, as I said, mentioned previously and just used previously to basically use it as like a, a big dump. So like, I think like the radiation from Fallout in season four of The Flash was put here. Now, in the comics, Earth-15 was an Earth actually decimated by Superman Prime? Was it Super... No, Superman Prime, I think it was. And it was, says it was destroyed in 1986 on this map, which is actually an Easter egg. Is that as the year that Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, finished its story in the comics, so that's a little Easter egg there. Uh, Earth 16 is actually the Young Justice Earth for the animated TV show, so if you're a fan of that, um, there you go. Now, I'd be surprised if this actually came into play, but who knows, we might get an animated cameo, that'd be pretty crazy. Uh, Earth 17 is the home of Steampunk Wells, who we've met briefly. Uh, Earth 18 is the home of Great, De uh, Great Tequila, according to Jay Garrick on the map, apparently. Could also be Earth 9, the labeling isn't amazing on the map. Uh, but also in the comics, Earth-18, like, sort of resembles the Wild West. So if, like, Jonah Hex wasn't already, like, a thing in Earth-1 in the past, I could see them maybe have used using this Earth as, like, a Jonah Hex Earth to bring him in, but they don't have to. Uh, Earth-19, we all know that. It's the home of Breacher, Gypsy, and Accelerator Men, and, of course, H.R. Wells, R.I.P. Uh, now, Antimatter, anti sorry, is near them. Now, Breacher is in Episode 5 of The Flash, and stuff apparently has gone down with him. So maybe he might have escaped Earth-19 uh, Earth to come to Earth-1 um, just before Antimatter hit it, but maybe Gypsy dies or something. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there, but it's going to be pretty interesting. So I think Earth-19 and its fate will be revealed soon enough on The Flash in a couple of episodes. 
Uh, Earth 22 is the home of Wells 2.0, so that Mad Max type Earth, like the like the apocalypse type Earth, I guess you could say. But also Kingdom Come, that Earth is Earth 22 in the comics, so they might make Kingdom Come a different Earth. I think it was also like Earth 90 something, 96 I think it was. Um, but I might come back to Kingdom Come later in the video. Now, Earth 23 is the Earth where the majority of the heroes, or at least the Justice League, are actually African Americans. So this is actually the home of President Calvin, El uh, Calvin Ellis, sorry, who is the Black Superman. Uh, now he was actually, like, his look was sort of based on Barack Obama and sort of elements of Muhammad Ali as well. Now this, uh, sorry, people think this could be, could be maybe where Black Lightning's from, Earth 23. Um, but that, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Now, Earth-24 is the home of Sunny Wells, aka the Mafia slash Mobster Wells. I doubt we'll see them unless it's in a montage. And Earth-25 is the home of H.P. Wells, the author. Now, Earth-26 in the comics is the home of the Zoo Crew. Uh, so this Earth is full of, like, a anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, there we go, uh, animals. So, like, they're like humanoids, essentially. Uh, this includes the speedster turtle known as Fastback. It would be amazing if he specifically showed up just Fastback. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe in the Speed Force or something. Uh, there's a bit of anti-matter around them that maybe they could be part of an opening montage of Earth's being destroyed, which once again, I don't know, I don't know what would be crazier, seeing the zoo crew or seeing the Young Justice animated show get their Earth's destroyed. I think they'd both be pretty crazy, pretty equal actually. Now, Earth-27 plays sort of like the Earth-3 of the comics. Um, so Earth-27 in the Arrowverse is like the crime syndicate Earth. Um, I doubt we'd see them, but maybe? I don't know, I have to wait and see. Uh, Earth-30, it says there is a vegan-only Earth. It's don't think it's that in the comics. It's just another sort of multiverse Earth. But there you go. If you're a vegan, go to Earth-30. Now, Earth-32, there is antimatter near them, soon to be gone. Don't really know too much about the Earth. Don't think it's ever been mentioned in the Arrowverse before, but I guess RIP is incoming for Earth-32. Earth-38, we of course know is the home of Supergirl, and of course that also means Superman. Um, they might die early, and maybe that Superman and Supergirl just come to Earth-1. We don't know what's going on necessarily there. Um, cause Earth 38 could, you know, face some strife early on, but who knows? Now, Earth 43 is an interesting one. This is actually an Earth where all the heroes are vampires. Like Batman was bit and then basically spread it amongst all the heroes. So they're all vampires. So yeah, as I said, the multiverse gets weirder and weirder as you dive deeper and deeper into it. Now, Earth 51 is a pretty interesting one. That's the home of Thaddeus Brown. He's the first Mr. Miracle in the comics. Uh, he was mentioned last season by Sherlock Wells. He taught Sherlock the art of escape. Um, I don't think we're going to see him. I think... Him just being there is just following on from Sherlock Wells' little name drop, but you never know. Now, Earth-52, they could make this like the Dark Multiverse version. I'm sure you guys know where I'm heading here, which would make it the home of the future Red Death. You know, the, like the, the dodgy Bruce Wayne and mixing with the Flash becomes Red Death and stuff like that. Obviously, that is like Earth-52, um, but they could go there if they wanted to. Now, Earth-75, um, not much here, but this could be the home of maybe Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, if maybe she is to cameo in Crisis. Uh, her Wonder Woman TV show started in 1975, so Earth-75, 1975, that would line up. Now, Earth-221 is actually the home of Sherlock Wells. Obviously, 221, it has to do with like the street address of Sherlock Holmes. Um, but yeah, not much there in regards to that. I think Earth-221 looks pretty safe. Earth-260 is actually the original area of the New Frontier take on Justice League. I'm sure some of you have either read the comic or even watched the animated movie, where it shows the Justice League as if they were set up in the 1950s rather than modern day. Um, we could see this. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing it, like some classic sort of suit and a character. Maybe a version of Oliver Queen there, with like the classic Green Arrow look, or like the Robin Hood look. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And finally, in regards to Earths that have a number, Earth 898. Now, this could maybe be the home of the Michael Keaton Batman universe, you know, 89, 898. Maybe that's it. Um, I think it was revealed that they would be from Earth 89 on the script, but maybe they're, this was a change and this was their original idea when they were filming Flash um, episode two. Um, I don't know, but maybe that's a possibility. Now, as you might have been able to tell from looking here, there's a couple of unknown Earths. I think there's either two or three. Now, these could be ones that we actually do meet in Crisis. Maybe one of them is actually the Smallville Earth. Um, that's a possibility. Or it could be the Black Lightning Earth if Black Lightning doesn't come from one of the other Earths that have already been mentioned. Or maybe, as I said before, it could be the Kingdom Come Earth. If Earth-22 is just going to remain that Mad Max type of Earth, then maybe Kingdom Come could be one of these unknown Earths and they could make it... What year did Kingdom come out? I think Kingdom, Ca Kingdom Come came out in the early 90s or mid 90s or something. So they could make it like a 90 odd Earth or something like that. And that could be the Kingdom Come Earth. But um, I'd expect it to be something along those lines. I think definitely one will be the Smallville Earth, I think. But I we'll have to wait and see. 
Now there is actually an Earth that has been completely crossed out, and I'd have to say that's Earth 90 because that's not on here at all. Earth 90 isn't anywhere. Um, that's like that's nowhere to be seen elsewhere on the map. So I think it says destroyed by reality wave under it. It does say a year, but it's too blurred out to even make the year or whatever it says in the brackets down there. But I think it says destroyed by reality wave. So probably what the monitor did. Um, but I'd have to say that's the crossed out Earth. I don't know what else it would be because Earth 90 is not anywhere else on the multiverse map. And we saw it last year. So I'd have to say that's it. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. But yeah, guys, hopefully this video wasn't too long. I tried to get through it as quickly as possible, but there was a lot to go through. So hopefully, and I did skip some Earths as well. So hopefully it wasn't too long. But if you did enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could uh, drop a like on the video to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over. Do you have any different opinions in regards to what the Earths could mean? Or did I miss out on like a important detail on an Earth I mentioned or just an Earth I skipped out on? Um, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.